Yeah, you know what? Transitioning from the world of musicians, like the Dixie Dreg world, into the world of winger, which was the heavy metal, playing in arenas, big production, was so dramatic in, and educational in terms of seeing how different that world is. One of the most important things a drummer or any musician can do is have the utmost of respect for every style of music. Anytime you think something is beneath you, you know, you don't get it. You know, from the day I got out of college, I'd have to say I was one of those snobby fusion musicians. I equated rock music with stupid music. I equated um, rock musicians as like being like Neanderthals, not being musicians at all. This was the attitude that I had that I carry with me inside. So I moved to New York City and said, you know what, I, I want to do a complete change of pace. Let's go back to my roots and I, I'm, I want to do the rock thing. Although. I was clearly a snobby fusion musician. I had an experience. I was learning a few tunes with a group of musicians to do some demos. And uh, the guy who was leading the session was a friend of mine. He said, look, I'm going to give you a shot at this, but you know, we want like the simplest kind of beats. So I played what I thought was the, the simplest, and again, I'm equating it with the stupidest beat imaginable, which was, you know, oompa, oompa with eighth notes. And my friend stopped the band and he looked at me and he said, remember we talked about you're playing simple? You know, and I thought he was out of his mind, like how much simpler can you play than that? And when he was through with me, what he wanted was boom, quarter notes, just quarter notes, everything quarter notes. He didn't know what a quarter note was, which again was making me, you know, have these funny thoughts about him and all the guys. So initially I was thinking, they're all a bunch of jerks, they don't know anything. I had given some thought to that experience of sort of being humiliated in front of all these guys that, that had sort of been looking up to me and then at the end of the rehearsal was like, God, this guy can't drum at all, he doesn't get it. And uh, I said, you know what, instead of me thinking I know everything, Maybe there's something to playing simple, hitting hard, not adding anything to it, because that's another thing this friend of mine was saying. You can't fix things by making them busier. So I went to this next rehearsal, closed my eyes, hit the drums harder than I've ever hit them before, and just played the quarter note beat with no drum fills. And when I was brave enough to open my eyes, like I looked around the room and there were all these other musicians just like totally into it and I started to get it. And fortunately I had that experience because it was within months that I found myself auditioning for Winger. And I walked in to, the, to this audition and when Kip started pumping on his bass, I said, I'm just going to the quarter note beat. And I just slammed it out and when I opened my eyes, you know, he, he said, cool, cool. And he stopped and he said, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean? Like, you were pumping on the bass, and so this, I played what's appropriate. He said, great, great, I see, you could do that, it's fine. Now do all the weird stuff that I'm told you could do. I purposely left all that outside the door, you know, because I figured if I did anything like that, you'd, you'd boot me out. He said, no, we're looking for a drummer who could do things that no one in this style of rock has ever seen a rock drummer do. 
He started playing, and I just got weirder and weirder, and I couldn't lose him. He's a great musician. And uh, he said, you're in. So it really wasn't just this, um, it was because of my background in the fusion and progressive uh, playing that got me into winning. And they've utilized that on all the records, but you know, more so today, if, if you came to see Winger live, you'd kind of walk away going, boy oh boy, my preconceived notion of this band is nothing like they are. I, for me and the guys in the band, whenever we read any of the chatter on the internet now, it's like Winger's the coolest band. For anyone who's come out to see it, it's, it's not anything like the Beavis and Butthead days of, of, you know, 15 years ago. It's a whole new thing.